Hello and welcome to Pharmacomania. Dr. Shahnaz Malaki here and we are going to discuss renin angiotensin system and its inhibitor part 2. We have already discussed release of renin. Renin and proranin are stored in the gesta glomerular apparatus and uh, it controlled by uh, either decrease renal blood flow or uh, decrease sodium concentration in distal conodated tubule or or beta 1 receptor stimulation at the gesta glomerular apparatus. So, increase release of renin from the kidney. Now, second step is angiotensinogen uh, substance is synthesis and release from the liver and circulating in the blood. So, renin is uh, act on the angiotensinogen and now angiotensinogen is convert into angiotensin 1 and in presence of renin. So, if here renin inhibitor like aliskiran is given then it inhibit the conversion of angiotensinogen to angiotensin 1. Now angiotensin 1 is biologically inactive but it convert into angiotensin 2 in presence of angiotensin converting enzyme. Now second step is angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor. This drug act on this enzyme and which inhibit conversion of angiotensin 2. If angiotensin 2 is converted then this is the very very strong substance which causes vasoconstriction occur and rises the blood pressure. So, these two steps are very important for conversion of angiotensinogen uh, angiotensin 2 in uh, blood pressure. So, we have to inhibit this step to reduce blood pressure. Three, third step is the angiotensin 2 is acting on the angiotensin 1 receptors. So, we can uh, block this receptor to uh, inhibit uh, vasoconstriction, uh, growth uh, of vascular muscle or aldosterone secretion to inhibit the raise of the blood pressure. Now inhibitors of renin and angiotensin system that act on the various step of the system. So first is the sympathetic blocker like beta blocker and adrenergic neuronal blocker uh, centrally sympatholytic like clonidine and beta blockers that decrease the renin's renin release. Second is the direct renin inhibitor are like uh, aliskiran which block the renin action. Third is angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor like captopril and alapril which prevent generation of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2. Fourth one is angiotensin receptor blockers like losartan, candisartan, arbisartan which antagonize the action of angiotensin 2 at the receptor. And uh, last is the aldosterone antagonist like spironolactone which block the mineralocorticoid effect. So, blockers of renin secretion and its release. Beta adrenergic receptors are present at the gesta glomerular apparatus, which can be inhibited by beta receptor blockers. So, which in, uh, indirectly inhibit renin release by blocking the intrarenal and extrarenal beta receptor involved in neuronal control of renin secretion and its release. Now, clonidine also inhibit renin secretion by reducing centrally mediated sympathetic activity. Now, renin inhibitors, orally active renin inhibitors like enalkiran and remikiran, which reduce plasma renin activity, but its clinical efficacy as antihypertensive activity has been disappointing because of their poor bioavailability. Aliskiran is a orally active direct renin inhibitor a new non-peptide approved for uh, treatment of hypertension. It is not only decreased plasma renin activity in hypertensive patient, it also nullify the renin rise as a result of assay inhibitor or uh, angiotensin 1 receptor blocker as a feedback rise. It uh, also, it, uh, its tolerability is greater than angiotensin converting enzyme as well as uh, angiotensin receptor blocker. So, uh, it is it blocks the catalytic activity of renin to clave angiotensinogen to angiotensin 1 the very first step in the formation of angiotensin 2 adverse effect are like diarrhea and hyperkalemia now angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors are captopril enalapril lisinopril remipril 
benazipril perindopril quinopril prendopril and fosinopril so angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor block the conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2 it also inhibit degradation of vasodilatory peptide bradykinin so inhibition of bradykinin metabolism which contribute uh, as anti hypertensive action so side effect of uh, cough uh, side effect like uh, cough and angioedema are the uh, uh, due to uh, accumulation of bradykinin and it also act as inhibition of aldosterone production and promote sodium and water excretion and potassium retention. All angiotensin uh, converting enzyme inhibitors have effective block the conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2 except they are differ in their pharmacokinetic property. So, the captopril was the first anti uh, angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor to be marketed followed by enalapril but effect is uh, similar to captopril the later on uh, pro drug which on being hydrolyzed by the hepatic esterase uh, is transformed into active angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor like enalaprilate lisinopril is a lysine derivative of enalaprilate and itself is a potent and active angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor rest of all uh, drugs are products which are converted to their respective active metabolites due to hydrolysis to hepatic esterase enzyme now therapeutic uses of angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor it decreases systemic vascular resistance without increasing heart rate they also promote natriuresis so used in the treatment of hypertension to decrease morbidity and mortality in heart failure left ventricular dysfunction after myocardial infarction ac inhibitors are useful in treating patient with diabetic nephropathy by decreasing proteinuria and stabilize the renal function it is useful in preventing incidence of diabetic retinopathy in patient of type 1 diabetes and it also produced dramatic improvement in prognostically grim condition of scleroderma renal crisis now adverse effect of ac inhibitors like hypotension after first dose particularly in sodium depleted patient who are using loop diuretic or salt restricted or suffering from git fluid loss so preferable treatment should be initiated with small dose or at the night dose and uh, second is the trichoff uh, due to as a result of accumulation of bradykinin in bronchial mucosa is the commonest adverse effect and it it can be persistent till the drug uh, therapy it is usually not dose related it occur more frequently in women and once the inhibitor has stopped it can be reversed or it disappear within a week Patient with bilateral renal artery stenosis or stenosis of the artery to a single remaining kidney predictably develop renal failure if treated with SA inhibitors. It may be due to angiotensin by constricting the efferent arterioles, maintain the adequate glomerular filtration rate even when the renal perfusion is low. If it, uh, this patient is uh, treated with SA inhibitor, Inhibition of angiotensin converting enzyme can induce acute renal insufficiency in such cases. LC inhibitors may can cause uh, hypokalemia in patient with renal failure or in patient uh, taking potassium sparing diuretic owing to reduce angiotensin to stimulated aldosterone secretion. Angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor are not teratogenic during first trimester but Continued administration of a inhibitor during uh, second and third trimester, uh, it can be uh, harmful in pregnancy because uh, risk of fetal hypotension, anuria and renal failure, fetal malformation or even neonatal death can occur. So, therefore, that once the pregnancy is diagnosed, AC inhibitor should be withdrawn and alternative antihypertensive therapy should be started. Angioneurotic edema which may develop within 3 to 4 days of initiation of the therapy it is not dose related and it is uh, may be possible 
इन्वॉल्व एक्यूमुलेशन ऑफ प्रेडिकाइनिन एंड इंडक्शन ऑफ टिश्यू स्पेसिफिक ऑटो एंटीबॉडीज एंड वंस इट ड्रग इज स्टॉप्ड द सिम्टम विल डिसअपियर विद इन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स रेयर बट रिवर्सिबल माइनर एडवर्स इफेक्ट्स आर न्यूट्रोपेनिया कोलेस्टेटिक टाइप ऑफ हिपेटोटोक्सिसिटी ग्लाइकोजूरिया प्रोटीन यूरिया एलर्जिक स्किन रिएक्शन एंड अल्टर्ड सेंस ऑफ टेस्ट आर फ्रिक्वेंटली सीन विथ कैप्टोप्रिल एट्रीब्यूटेबल टू द प्रेजेंस ऑफ सेल्फ हाइड्रिल ग्रोप इंसिडेंस ऑफ दिस एडवर्स इफेक्ट इज नेग्लिजिबल विथ लॉन्गर एक्टिंग एस इनिबिटर्स now drug interaction non systemic antacid reduces the bioavailability of as inhibitors nsaids may impair the hypotensive effect of as inhibitor by blocking bradykinin mediated vasodilatation potassium sparing diuretic or potassium supplement may exacerbate as inhibitor induce hyperkalemia capsic capsaicin may aggravate as inhibitors induce strike up plasma level of lithium and digoxin may get elevated with concomitant use of as inhibitors now angiotensin receptor antagonist uh, like uh, saralecin and it is earliest non peptide antagonist at the angiotensin 1 uh, receptor Uh, inhibit uh, the vasoconstrictor effect of angiotensin 2 it exhibits some partial agonistic activity and therefore elicits some pressure response also particularly when circulating angiotensin 2 level is low it must be administered uh, intravenously so it is not useful clinically angiotensin receptor antagonists differ from angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor in following characteristic Angiotensin receptor blockers have no effect on bradykinin metabolism and are therefore more selective blocker of angiotensin 2 effect than angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor. Angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor may not suffice for the total elimination of angiotensin 2 because additional enzyme enzymes have been identified that are capable of forming angiotensin 2 from angiotensin 1 by alternative pathway in contrast angiotensin receptor blockers are capable of blocking effect of angiotensin 2 regardless of all any uh, biochemical pathway of angiotensin 2 formation both group of the drug stimulate renin release as feedback but as inhibition does not result in the increased level of circulating angiotensin 2 while angiotensin receptors antagonist this increase circulating angiotensin 2 level resultant increase amount of angiotensin 2 would now stimulate angiotensin 2 receptors which are lying unblocked this may be useful in view of the fact that activation of angiotensin 2 receptor causes vasodilatation occur despite of these differences it is not yet clear that angiotensin receptor antagonist practice have any significant advantage over as inhibitors angiotensin receptor antagonist decreases total peripheral resistance cardiac venous return reduction of blood pressure occurring independently of the status of renin angiotensin system making them effective anti hypertensive even in the patient with normal or normal to low activity of renin angiotensin system longer acting uh, angiotensin receptor antagonists such as erbesartan candesartan telmisartan seems to be more effective than shorter acting it provide 24 hour control over bp uh, losartan is reported to be safe and very effective in the treatment of portal hypertension with cirrhosis of liver angiotensin receptor antagonist does not exhibit texting advantages over as inhibitor in reducing morbidity and mortality from congestive heart failure like as inhibitor they also shows the progression of the diabetic nephropathy and uh, as inhibitors uh, like valsartan has recently been shown to reduce the incidences of diabetes mellitus in subject with the impaired glucose tolerance test use of angiotensin receptor antagonists is generally restricted to patient who do not tolerate as inhibitors 
clinical practice of uh, angiotensin receptor antagonists are reserved for the patient of hypertension in whom SA inhibitors have been withdrawn for the complaint of dry cough and angioedema. These side effects are not seen with the angiotensin receptor antagonist. Adverse effect due to angiotensin receptor antagonist like SA inhibitor uh, fetal toxicity can be seen with uh, angiotensin receptor antagonist and it should be discontinued before second trimester of the pregnancy and it may precipitate renal failure in patient with bilateral renal artery stenosis. Uh, it may can cause um, hyperkalemia in patient with renal failure or in patient with taking potassium supplement or potassium sparing diuretic and first dose hypotension in rare cases may occur. Adverse effect unlike to SA inhibitors, angiotensin receptor antagonists do not cause cough or angioedema because they do not build predikinin level as discussed in SA inhibitors. They do not produce dyskusia either. Thank you for watching the video.